What's up everybody? I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. We hope you guys are staying safe during these difficult times. Uh, we're doing our part by staying indoors and we're not going to be going outside filming anything anytime soon. Having said that, we do have to continue creating content and we have some really interesting ideas so we truly hope you guys continue to enjoy our videos. Today's video is all about the world of vending machines. We had a great time going through our library of videos. We really tried very interesting and unique food and drinks, various food and drinks from various vending machines and I thought it might be fun to compile them into one video. I think you guys are gonna like this one. Please enjoy. We have soups here in Japan and this one is the corn soup and right here is a soup that we've never seen before this is the rich demi-glass soup I think it's some kind of beef soup so I will buy soup demi-glass sauce beef soup insert coin and push the bottom here we go demi-glass sauce came I'm going to drink this soup, 170 yen soup, thick demigrass soup. And this is beef soup. Oh, it's amazingly thick. It's more than I expected. This is mm, good soup. Nice onion flavor and yes, beef flavor. Mm, mm. I want to buy the miso soup and healing fruit tea. The miso soup is 130 yen. The fruit tea. The fruit tea price is 140. So here's the fruit tea. I got this uh, healing time fruit tea. It says this is made with apples and lemon pear. That sounds good. That sounds delicious. This is super super fruity. I can definitely taste the apples and the lemon and the pear. I can actually taste all the fruits. They're like blended perfectly. So mine is miso soup. Yes, miso soup. So it's hot, hot miso soup. This is a fresh water clam, very tiny clam. Open. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's a miso soup smell. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's really miso soup. It has very good shijimi, the fresh water clam taste. Nice flavor of clam. We can drink miso soup anytime from vending machine. This is from Kikoma, you know, that, that company that's famous um, with soy sauce. But they also make soy milk here in Japan, and I, I like their um, soy milk. But this one is Oshiruko flavor. Oshiruko is a sweetened azuki bean paste soup. We usually drink it during the winter months. I especially love to drink it on New Year's Day. But I've never had their um, hot Oshiruko flavored soy milk before. This is like so interesting. Mmm. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I love Oshiriko, so like this is like right up my alley. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. That's how good it is. This Oshiriko, that sweetened azuki bean paste soup, goes so well with soy milk. It's like perfect together. Do you know how many machines there are here? I don't know, uncountable. Okay, I think there are like 40. 40? Yeah, I'm just guessing wow. because you know, we just kind of wow. walked through right now. And I think there are 40 different vending machines here. 40! And they're not all drinks, guys. This is like um, super retro machines. I mean, there's not a single new vending machine here. This is ramen vending machine. Look, they have two types of ramen. The regular ramen and the char siu men. The price, regular ramen is 300 yen, cha siu men is 400 yen. We're gonna eat cha siu men. Insert coin. Okay, press the button. 24 minutes. Uh, 24 seconds. 22. Now it's 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. 2, 2, 1, 0. 
It's hot. <laughs> Be careful. It's very hot. Here, let me do it. Let me do it. I can do it for you. Okay, first, I'm gonna get this, okay? Because I know that's gonna be hot. So let's get a couple of chopsticks here. And then, we're gonna take this bowl of ramen with us. You are absolutely right. It is steaming hot. Okay, let's go. I gotta take it here. Okay, this is the char siu ramen. I gotta say, that actually looks delicious. It looks very nice. Very appetizing for me. Look, it's char siu man. I, I can't believe this comes out as this is. And on top, a five piece of char siu on top. Oh, so luxurious. So, charge you fast. Mm. 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 It's really chasu. We wait when I was a child. The most common ramen shop provides these types of chasu soup. Gentle soy sauce, taste flavor, noodle. Yeah, taste wise a little bit subtle, but texture is not bad. This is from vending machine. Considering this is from vending machine, really good. This is really good. I also noticed that there's some nori on the bottom here. Oh. There's a sheet of nori, and there's a naruto, and there's some green onions as well. Maybe the soup becomes thicker if, if, uh, after you mix it. Yes, and there's also a uh, menma bamboo shoots here. There are three pieces of it. So there's actually a substantial amount of um, ingredients in this uh, bowl of ramen. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Like Satoshi said, it's on the subtle side, but it's like old-fashioned, authentic Tokyo-style ramen. That's what it tastes like. So, put 400 yen inside, and I'm gonna choose katsudon. And let's see how long will it take. 148, 147, 146. Oh! Here it Yay, is. Yay, katsudon! Oh, it's so hot again. It's so hot again? Yes, it's really oh. hot. Okay. Alright, this is what it looks like. Let's go over there. Oh. Did I mention that it is scorching hot? It is so hot. I'm like dripping right now. I'm, I've been dripping all day today. Goodness gracious. All right. I am so excited. This is the katsudon, the pork cutlet rice bowl. Just be careful because it's really hot. Looks like they freeze these, put them in the vending machine, and they, they microwave it. Oh, look at that. Kind of reminds me of like an in-flight meal. It's like an in-flight meal, doesn't it? Look like it? Ah, it's very hot. Oh my god, there's a chopstick in here. Alright, so let's peel it off. Alright, here we are. This is the katsudon. There is, um, it's a pretty small piece of pork cutlet cut into four pieces. And there's uh, the onions I was talking about. There's some eggs, scrambled egg right there. Okay, I'm gonna start off here at the end. Get some rice with some of the pork cutlet. So you guys are probably wondering what happened to Shinichi just now? Well, I think I was starting to get heat stroke so I had to go and buy some Diet Dr. Pepper cool myself off before we start again and I had to sit down. So just be careful if you come here during the summertime stay hydrated and stay cool because it's very very hot. I'm ready to eat. Alright, so here we go again. Because I have no idea what I was eating. <laughs> so, here we go. This is uh, the pork cutlet on top of the rice. And it's cooked in this beautiful sauce, or it should be. Itadakimasu. Mm. 
Mmm. 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 It's very hot. But it's actually quite tasty. Mmm. It's a proper katsudon. It tastes perfect. Um, the rice is good. The rice is cooked really well. The pork cutlet, to be honest with you, it's very, very thin on the pork. Um, there are a lot of, there's a, um, yeah, there's not much pork in here. But it tastes like pork. But it's a very thin slice of pork. The sauce with the scrambled egg, that combination with the pork is perfect. The rice is cooked perfectly, as you can see. It's a pretty tasty lunch, I gotta say. Like pairing this with like maybe some noodles, like ramen noodles together with maybe ice cream for dessert will be like the perfect lunch, perfect lunch. So for this machine, we have Yukimi Daifuku, which is uh, like a mochi ice cream. We have uh, Super Cup that's vanilla ice cream. We got this giant corn, which is delicious, but you can get it anywhere. The chocolate mint, Gari Gari Kun. We got Azuki Monaka. Uh, same, 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 same. And okay, they're all kind of the same. Okay, let's go to the next one. We got the Papiko chocolate coffee, white sour. We got, ooh, strawberry shaved ice. We got Pinot. We got the uh, ice cream sandwich and we got Satoshi's favorite Jumbo Pari Pari Chocolate Monata So, which one would you like Satoshi? I'll let you choose It's really hot in summer So shaved, shaved ice type is my favorite So, yes And here is spoon It's hot summer day I like this kind of shaved ice Yes, it's like this it's a strawberry shaped ice, I think. Ooh. 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 It's super hot today. So, already melting now. Mm. Recently, this type of shaped ice is pretty rare. And of course, it is very difficult to find ice cream vending machine selling that frozen dessert. Mm, it's so nostalgic. When I was a child, it was there somewhere in my hometown. But now, it is impossible to find in Tokyo. Only we can find like 17 ice cream or like Monaka ice cream. Recently, we showed you. Check it out, check it out. This is how I like to eat it. Make sure you, you crush all the ice, get it mixed in with the, 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 the syrup so that you get the full kakigori experience the way you're supposed to. Okay. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, that is sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And cold, 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 but it's so welcome in this very hot weather. Oh, it's already re-energizing me, like, immediately. Oh, put it on my neck. Whew, that's good stuff. Okay, so this is about a couple of blocks away from Akihabara Station, mm -hmm. and um, about three minutes or four minutes. Yeah, three, four minutes, and it's right across Mansei Akihabara. Mansei is famous for their beef and uh, meat products, like uh, katsu sandwiches, for example. And it's right across from this vending machine. It's pretty brand new. They didn't have this a couple of years ago. They actually created a vending machine. So now you can have the popular Mansei katsu sandwiches from this vending machine right here. 13, number 13. 13. That's the number. Here? Here? Oh, it's in. Here we go. So this is Mansei katsu sandwich. This one is a hamburg sandom. 
hamburger cutlet sandwich. I, I really want to try this one. So, open the box. Okay. This is omikuji. <laughs> this is omikuji. This is kichi means lucky. This is like fortune. This is otehuki, wet tissue. Open. Open. Ooh. Nine pieces. No, 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 six pieces. Six pieces of. Oh, this one. This one looks very yummy. Mmm. Looks. Looks delicious. This hamburger is, looks very delicious. This hamburger steak is the mixture of beef and pork. And this, the, I love this beef flavor. Really nice. And the sauce. Sauce is sweet. It's not sugary sweet. Nicely sweet and of course it's savory but it's sweet. This is sweet sauce. Mmm, so good. I think a little bit of ketchup taste. It matches with this beef flavor. We have the Mansei Katsu Sando, the double meat uh, pork cutlet sandwich. And as you can see, the box is way bigger compared to the other ones. So look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is like basically double the size of this one. Oh, you guys got to check this out. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. This is seriously an amazing looking sandwich. Oh my god. Oh, this is a sandwich, guys. This is insane. It is crazy. I can't believe it. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that double layer of uh, pork. It's almost like it's too much pork. <laughs> is that too much pork? It looks like two sandwiches. I don't know if I can bite into this. I have a small mouth. I'm gonna try my best. Tadakimasu. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's a lot of meat, people. I gotta chew longer. A lot of meat, but you know what? The pork loin actually in Japanese it's called losu. It actually has more flavor than the hire. Once again, this is just my opinion, but because there ha there is some fat in this one, I feel like this one has a little bit more flavor than the hire, the pork tenderloin. <laughs> and you gotta really have a big mouth to you know fit your mouth around this sandwich which Satoshi will have no problem with because his mouth is like twice the size of mine. Itadakimasu. One bite. So first you want to get is the Italian toast from the toast sandwich machine. So we put in the money. Okay. Press the button. And what? Oh! It says 40 seconds. 40 seconds. 40 seconds until it's ready. So this is my Mexican burger that we got Mexican from the burger. vending machine, yes. Mexican burger from vending machine. Mm -hmm. And it's vending machine because there's jalapeno and there is a tortilla chip inside from vending machine. How is it? Oh! <laughs> Surprising face. Spicy. Spicy. Oh. The jalapeno. But it's not bad. And because it's so small, it makes me want to have another one. 
because you're so tiny. Meat patty's pretty thick. Oh my goodness. Look. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. We're gonna eat a toast. It is very thin toast. Very, very thin. Is it two slices? Really? It oh. is. Oh, Whoa. it's tomato sauce. Oh, yes, there's like some pizza. Uh, bacon? Bacon. And cheese? And tomato sauce? I think it would be good if it was toasted and kind of crispy. How is it? Mm. The inside the fitting is quite good. Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I, I agree. Like mm. pizza, right? Like mm -hmm. pizza bread. So you know what, I'm, I think I'm gonna get the uh, caramel pudding ice bar and this is what it is. And it's interesting, I just noticed there's English here, there's Korean here, and there's Chinese here. I know, like super super random information, but you know, it might be useful. I'm gonna put 200 yen, we don't have exact change, but that's okay. Caramel pudding ice bar. Where is my ice cream? Oh, here it is. Oh, I like that. I love the packaging. I've never seen this before. Don't forget to get your change. That's the uh, caramel pudding ice bar, 160 yen. Let's do it. Let's eat this. Please help me cool down. Once again, comes in a box and then comes wrapped in a plastic. And it's cool because it kind of looks like um, the caramel sauce and the custard pudding on a real custard pudding. And um, it's not too big, so I'm happy. First time I'm happy that my food is not too big. That way I can, we can finish the rest of the ice cream. We can try the other ice cream. Oh, it's hard. It's hard as a popsicle. Uh, but the caramel flavor is really nice. It's the exact same flavor as the caramel sauce that they use for those uh, custard pudding. Mm, there we go. Mmm, look at that. So the custard pudding ice cream is inside caramel on the outside and it tastes exactly like Japanese custard pudding that's very nice I like this a lot and the texture on the outside and the inside is completely different the outside is like the texture of a pop popsicle and the inside is creamier like ice cream you get a combination of textures and tastes and a frozen dessert that tastes exactly like a Japanese pudding love it the smell is really like a custard pudding. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's like a really like Japanese custard pudding, which we buy at the supermarket. <laughs> Next, I want to eat Hashi's Choco Monaka. Choco Monaka is my favorite type of ice cream. I always buy not this, but the chocolate monaka. Inside the coins, it's 160 yen. And the box. I love Hershey's chocolate, so it must be delicious. Alright, since Satoshi got the Hershey's choco monaka, I'm gonna get the uh, Uji Matcha Monaka ice cream because I like matcha. All right, I'm gonna insert my uh, bill here because we no longer have uh, coins. And so I'm gonna put that in. This one is 200 yen, so it's a little pricey. Hello. Okay. It's taking a while. Oh, there it is. I noticed that the ice cream does take a little while to come down. Definitely don't forget your change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred yen. As is chocolate. My favorite type is chocolate bar inside the ice cream. But this is not. Let's open. Mm, I like this. I like this type of Monaka ice cream. But I don't eat the just Monaka ice cream. I need chocolate inside. So I will break into half. Ooh. It's chocolate ice cream. Can you see bits? Chocolate bits? No. <laughs> Is there chocolate bits inside? 
うんうんうんおいつらいかダークチョコレートカインド I don't know if there is a bits inside it's just a sauce、まあ、フレーバーワイズ It's not bad うんうん、うん、First of all Uh, Monaka ice cream is not like my favorite favorite ice cream. I'm not like a huge fan of the outside. It reminds me of like in a regular, normal, typical ice cream cone, not the delicious sugar, sugar cone or the waffle cones. It tastes like the really boring、uh, um, ice cream cones. But what I like about this particular ice cream is that、uh, the ice cream doesn't melt. And if it does,、uh, you're safe because、um, this outer covering protects your fingers from getting dirty. The ice cream itself is not that sweet, and、um, the chocolate chips or bits. Hmm, actually, now you can see a lot of them here. But they're not crunchy bits, they're actually kind of soft. So you don't, you don't have that crunchy texture of chocolate chips or chocolate bits. So, like Satoshi said, it's more like,、um, I don't know, it's like、um, almost the same texture as the ice cream itself. So you don't really have a textural difference. But... Overall, it's good. So, the one I got is the Uji Matcha Monaka. Once again, it's 200 yen, so it's a little pricier than the others that we've got. And this one also includes some chocolate chips in the middle of the matcha ice cream. This is from Lotte.、Uh, the series is the Ice Parade. It's interesting because I never see these at the、uh, convenience stores or our grocery stores.、Um, I've only seen this here at this vending machine. Very interesting. And once again, this is the Monaka type that Satoshi likes so much. But it has、uh, my favorite matcha instead of the chocolate. Although I do like chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so let's break this in half and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, check that out. Look at that beautiful green color. Lawrence's favorite color.、Um, yes. Here we go. I'm hoping that it has a pretty strong matcha flavor because I love matcha. Mmm. 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 That's nice. Not too strong and not too weak. Definitely matcha. You can definitely taste it, which I like. I really get annoyed when I have something that's supposed to taste like matcha and I don't get any matcha flavor. Oh, this is good. Once again, the chocolate chips are not crispy or crunchy at all. It kind of just like blends into the ice cream, but it's nice. I'm not sure if it adds like a strong chocolate flavor or anything. I taste mostly matcha and yeah, I like it. I like it most. Mmm. <laughs> It's very matcha y Surprise, surprise. I didn't expect so strong matcha flavor. Well, it has matcha bitterness. It's 200 yen. As a Monaka ice cream, it's expensive, I think. But it's worth it because it has a nice matcha flavor. Ah, look at this. Isn't this nice? Just chilling on a park bench, eating ice cream. So, I want to give you guys an idea of how big this park is. So, here is a map of Inogashira Park, and we're right here, okay? So, this is the bridge I was talking about. This is the boat pier. This is where the vending machines are located. And here is the pond, and this is like、uh, the continuation of the pond. And here's a nature trail here. We have A monument of someone famous. We have the Inugashira Park Zoo, which is kind of, you know, nice. And then there's a Japanese garden here. And if you go all the way to this side, you will find the Ghibli Museum that everyone loves to go to. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. Until next time, stay safe, take care. Bye. Bye.